Welcome once again to Gracie Schwartzwald. I'm here with Erkan Mete. We're going over our complete Gracie Jiu-Jitsu self-defense course, working on takedowns and specifically takedowns from the knees. I encourage you guys to practice this as much as possible. It's a great way to develop your clinch work game, your takedown, your base, your balance, without having to worry about necessarily you know, falling on your leg wrong, getting slammed into the mat, um, or just, again, having to just resort to, like one of us pull, one of us play guard, one of us pass. Uh, learn to fight from these positions, okay? And right now we're working on uh, front headlocks, uh, snap down to front headlock controls, um, which is a, should be a huge part of your game, right? Because the option, and this is why I use it so much, is I'm either gonna get the front headlock control or he's gonna posture up, giving me body control. He can't, it's very hard for him to find that middle zone where he can defend both. Okay, so um, this is gonna be very similar to the last video, the, the sort of Roy Marsh back take off of the front headlock. Um, the only difference is I'm not going behind his leg, I'm gonna go between his arm and his leg. Okay, and this is a situation where, you know, I break him down and there's space there. Okay, so let me get you on this side. Okay, so we come out, we tie up, I snap him down, I get here, but this time maybe he's more spread out or there's space here. I'm gonna bring my leg up just like before, controlling chin strap here, knee goes inside, and I go here. So I want my arm inside his leg. Just like before, I'm opening that back leg. Now it's very hard for him to get the single leg or to reach uh, back and elbow me. So from here, I can actually use his hand to control collars, to attack situations. Again, it's a lot like a neon belly. My leg is out here posted. You can be on your toes or flat here. Okay, so this is a good control. If you want to be mean, I hold the back of the collar here. So he wants to turn into me or do anything, I can actually pin him here. Okay, so it's just we're taking a shorter route. I'm here, I snap him down, I get the chin strap, step, knee goes deep inside here. I can do this, I can work here. Obviously we have crucifix type stuff, but I'm inside his leg, so I've kind of split. This is a great situation, because if he does try to put me in guard, I can just melt right through. I don't have to worry about him putting me in guard, because I'm already basically inside his guard. So uh, let's do it once from this angle. I'm here, I snap him down, chin control, turn the chin. Leg deep, open the leg here. So again, I'm not holding here. If I decide to switch, I can do this, but I like his real default is going here. It saves me a lot of problems. From here, I can control different controls. Uh, if you want to be mean, this is one I use a lot. I'll actually cross face and cup this shoulder. Because put me in guard. Yeah, roll away. Yeah, there's all kinds of problems for him here. And now it's easier for me to break him down. Okay, so that's a front headlock snap down to the back control, but getting the leg inside his, inside his arm um, for the back ride. 